We're going to make a special flight over the Penny Ice Cap on Baffin Island. Normal routing for this flight is around the coast. We're at an altitude of about 6,000 feet, but only less than 100 feet above the ice surface. Yeah, it almost looks like it's landlocked, eh? Yeah. The ice is like a billiard table. You hear a clicking in the cockpit. This is the overspeed warning clacker. Depth perception is difficult because of the surface of the ice being so smooth. And then off the sides of the ice cap run glaciers. Here you can see a glacier going down off the side of the ice cap. Looking back at the engine gives you some impression of speed. Flying down off the ice cap through the fjord and let down towards Cape Dyer. Numerous glaciers flying through the mountain tops. let down into Cape Dyer on approach. If H227 sitting on the ground in Cape Dyer, the airport's at sea level. More just a runway than an airport. Just taken off from Cape Dyer and we're flying up past the radar site which is at about 1800 feet above sea level. You hear the ping as you go past the radar. We're now flying towards Brown Island, codenamed Fox 5. frequently see icebergs in the sea around Brownman Island and Cape Dyer.
the radar site of Fox 5 is also up on the hill, 1900 feet above sea level. Here we're letting down into Broughton Island, coming in from the Davis Strait. The runway at Broughton Island is the same as all the Dewline sites. Hard packed gravel, hard packed snow and ice in the winter. The Inuit settlement here on Broughton Island is Kik Kik Tak Jawak. In the distance is a, an Inuit on a snowmobile dragging a Komatuk. The DC-3 on the ground is a scheduled service from Iqaluit. The FH-227 aircraft is being offloaded onto a snowcat. The snowcat is used because of the steep ascent to the radar site. A real bone shaker ride. We can't help wondering how much the ice cap may have changed in the 40 years since this video was filmed.